what was very important when I was looking for a, a place to land was a true Catholic identity. And I believe you see that here. That is one of the values of the, of the Highland School is that once again you can see the child as a means to an end for the school as opposed to a means to the end for not just the student but the family. And so God entrusted these children not to me but to their parents first. And it is the parents who are entrusting the children to me. And I do think that is something that the Highland School understands uh, very much is that they are supporting not just the student but the family. And you can't do one without the other and be successful. What have I seen that surprised me about the Highlands? We had a retreat last week for the middle schoolers and the whole theme was belonging versus fitting in, being true to yourself or being fake. And one of the round table, small groups that the dads led was where do you feel most yourself? Where do you feel most true and you don't have to put on a facade or be, be, be someone else? And the majority of the boys said it was at school. I thought, wow, like, that's me growing up in all the public school I went to. It's like the last place you could put your guard down with school. I mean, obviously home is home, but when you can say you feel most yourself is at school, that really, that really shocked me, really blew me away. My kids, my kids love it here so much. They love this school so much. I can't explain it to you. I'm like, I'm definitely, I'm, I'm called to live a life of in Christ and whatever he wants of us. But when, um, if given the opportunity to go anywhere else, I wouldn't fathom it. Well, this school, it's, it's like better in a lot of ways because there's more after school activities. So like you have your sports, you have like football, basketball, all that. And it's not just like after school, there's maybe one thing like a club or something, there's like multiple things. So you, usually there, you can find one thing that could fit your body, like the things that you want to do. We teach our kids that their goal is to get to heaven and bring as many people along with them as they can. And I feel so strongly that the teachers and the faculty here are living that. So they see how can we live that out in the real world? Um, how can we live up to this example and live our faith joyfully so as to be an example to others? So I have had the pleasure and been blessed to have been here for nine years. Next year will be my 10th year at the Highlands. And seeing the children grow, um, I, we get to see them when they are in pre-K. So they are young boys and girls. And then seeing them when they are in the upper grades, like in fourth and fifth grade or middle school, um, some of the changes that you see in these kids, um, I see a lot of confidence, leadership, service to others and those are all things that we see little snippets when they are younger and then we get to see them flourish as they grow and as they progress in the school. What I see is a lived organic breathing dynamic with the faith because at least me growing up it felt like it was all compartmentalized like hobbies and God was just one thing next to baseball or wakeboarding but when you have a whole environment where you can enjoy the faith, live the faith at home and try to create that seamlessness between how the family lives their relationship with God, how their friends, how their teachers. It creates a paradigm where the kids can flourish because it's not about putting God in a little convenient box, it's about enjoying the faith. I definitely feel confident that I can go into the real world with all the skills and values that I've learned here, not only because of how I've been prepared, but also because of the support that I've been given. I feel that that support is not gonna end um, when I leave, when I graduate. I will still be able to um, turn to my friends who I've made so many wonderful um, friends here um, who I'll still be able to turn to, keep in touch with, and even the teachers, the consecrated, the priests, um, I know that they're still going to support me if I ever need anything. A donation to a very special community, a very special school like this, is so vitally crucial, so important. Anything that we have, anything that we do, anything that we enjoy, anything that we're blessed to share with anyone is from the generous hearts of donors who step up and feel that same spirit, that same call, that same love of, you know, the miracles, the little unseen miracles that are happening here at the school. For 
generous donors, people who sponsor other people to come to school, a generous donor from outside the community who like fell in love with the spirit of the community after like five minutes of some kind of encounter with a student. It's not just like improvements with the building, improvements with the programs, it's, it's what's, happening, what's happening in the unseen, what's happening in each of these kids as they fall more deeply in love with, of course, their faith, the way that they fall more deeply in love with their friends, their teachers, just the day, just being here, it's like that dollar, that dollar is making it happen. I love the people here. Like, I've known most of these people. My classmates, I've known them since I was four, so they're practically my brothers and sisters. What I love about this school is that the community here gets you. They help you to get higher, like our motto is for all tiers. The school has really helps us to see ourselves as, um, as children of God. You know, we're not just, we're not just like little particles in the world. Like we're human people who were created for a purpose. We are known and loved and um, that has really changed my life, realizing that um, at this school.